Hey, Lydia, what's going on? This is Rob Sesternino. How are you? Hi, Rob. Yes. Why are you censoring my tweets? What? How am I censoring You're them? You're not reading them in their entirety. Being you like know, phoners. Phoners. You can, you can, I can say, say boner. It. I can say it. I feel like you You say I can say it and then I'm going to get like complaints of like, <laughs> why is this man saying these things on a podcast? I give you consent to okay. have it in its entirety. I will clip this <laughs> and use it in the future. Anyway, Lydia, uh, <laughs> we very much enjoyed having you on season 42 and having you, you in Survivor Twitter and they can't vote you out <laughs> from there. So they can never, <laughs> never. Uh, could you talk to us about a, uh, a BFJ episode of Survivor from last night? And uh, this was a big blind side for us too to see you go. From your perspective, could you just tell us about how things went in the lead up to the vote? Um, I feel like it was very accurate in the edit that like the people that were kind of like on the outs were definitely on the out. Like I was very much in the know of all of that. And we had this like upline of eight and everything. Couldn't tell you who the eight was at this point. Like I remember just being like, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Um, but then uh, I think literally in the like later half of the day, like right before tribal, like I think it was switched by King Omer. Uh, totally flipped the script. Like he was not going to let his alliance uh, go home, and good for him. Do you, uh, at least at the, at the time, uh, did you have hard feelings towards High after that you had had such a bond through the first 14 days of the game and then uh, he voted for you at that tribal council? Um, it wasn't like hard feelings. It was more just kind of like confusion. I was just like, like I, I, I truly don't understand. Like I could have easily just been, I could have been an easy go, like easy go, easy number, you know, like, cause at that point, like I was just, I was going along and I'm not like, I was not trying to play like a heavy, heavy strategic game because you see what happens with like Daniel, you know, if you're trying to play too hard, like you're done. And I, like, I, and also I'm not the type, I'm like, I'm not the type of player, you know, to like, you know, make these like crazy big moves and everything. Like I'm more of kind of like under the radar and just kind of like, that was like kind of my whole vibe and everything. Everything. And then, of course, with the twist, I was kind of just like in the spotlight, which I obviously love, but not in this way. Like, it was just kind of like unfortunate. And so it was just kind of like interesting that like it was just it was just kind of confusing, but like not like any hard feelings because it's a game and he was playing his own game. And I um, I honestly like my biggest regret in the game is like I wish I blacked out at the Applebee's reward. Like, I wish I just completely blacked out at another and shark just, bowl. I know. I know. I wish I did. Like, that's my that's my biggest regret. Well, why do you why do you wish that just because the, that what came after was just so painful? It was just it would have just been more chaos. And maybe the, I wouldn't have been like, I would just be like, oh, like, like, why would we get her out? Like, she's nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about, uh, we didn't really get to see your relationship with Mike. We saw that High and Mike became very close. Were you also close with Mike? Oh yeah, no, we, yeah, definitely. Like Mike was like my dad, like he was like my dad out there and everything. We just like, weren't really working together strategically. Like mm -hmm. we definitely did for, like, obviously after the Jenny vote and everything, cause everyone was like against Daniel at that point. Like he literally betrayed everyone. So we were all, it was a pretty, it was a pretty straightforward vote. Um, but like, yeah, we were definitely close for sure. Um, but it, that what, what, but him voting for me wasn't surprising because we weren't working together strategically. And um, yeah. I had wondered after last week's episode, when you came back from Shipwheel Island, okay, uh, mm -hmm. it seemed like that from what we saw in the episode that Hi and Mike were sort of split on what to do. I had wondered if you were sort of the tie break vote. Did you put your thumb on the scale uh, to get Daniel out last week? Uh, yeah, but I, I literally was just like, no one's going home with Daniel. Like I was very much like, yeah, yeah, like Daniel's gone like yeah. done like yeah it was really not like i i think that yeah there was obviously talking we obviously split for like shot in the dark just like covering our own asses like you know just in case and then of course like chanel was saving her own ass too like totally understandable mm -hmm. um but like i remember and also like i went to ship wheel i was like i like literally no thoughts i was like i am protecting my vote this is the only advantage i have like i don't need an extra one when this is the only one i have already and like it that didn't matter so i came back it was kind of like yeah like i wanted to keep daniel comfortable like i definitely wanted to keep him comfortable and everything so he didn't end up playing anything but it was it was always going to be him was high more on the side of let's vote out chanel um no i no i think that like we definitely like talked about it but mm -hmm. i think it it 
Uh, I don't remember. May, maybe. Okay. I don't really I don't remember. I want to know, going back to Chappelle Island, was it as awkward with Rox Roy as it seemed <laughs> on the episode? So awkward. Yeah. So awkward. Like, you literally could not pick more different people on our cast. Like, I literally, and also that was, like, such a brutal day for me. Like, I was exhausted. Like, oh, this was, like, my day, like, seven or eight of not eating at all. Like, I couldn't eat the coconut. It made me sick. And so, like, I'm, like, having to do this hike, which I know I'm not going to risk anything. So it was, it just felt very, like, theatric. And I, like, literally, and I was just like, so you have kids or like i was like i don't know what to talk about like i was like i like and also he was so cryptic so cryptic i was like i don't it, it was as awkward in person as it was on dv okay can you then talk about a little bit of uh the relationships that you were making with the other players uh in the merge once you got there yeah, like I definitely, like I definitely was like talking to Marianne. We got along very, very well and everything. Um, I was talking to Lindsay and I remember like talking to Romeo. Like I definitely, was, I was I was talking to everybody. Like I really was. And so that's why I was like, socially, I felt like I was in a good spot. Like, and I really mm -hmm. kind of had a, an idea of what was going on, except for obviously mine. But like everything else, like dynamic wise, I had a pretty good read on. Did you know about High's Advantage Amulet while you were out there? Mm -mm. No, I think I knew about it maybe like very, very like right before I went, but I don't think I remember. Yeah. I, no, I don't think I knew about it. Like, you, yeah. Okay. One of the things that uh, people really wanted to know is that in the first episode, we saw that High covered himself in blood <laughs> and, yeah, 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 and yeah. came back and you said, oh my God, you're bleeding. <laughs> uh, was there any sort of follow up discussion about what had happened to High? <laughs> Yeah, so he basically was like, we had to crawl through some like a a blood pit and everything. Like they just said a he like, had a, like, a blood blood and mud pit. Like they had to like crawl through something, and of course that literally ended the discussion. Like that was literally all it was. Like it was just kind of like I was just kind of like yeah, because he doesn't have any cuts or anything, so he just said he crawls through something. I was like, all right. Like I was like I don't think really anyone questioned it more than that. Okay, uh, how was the Applebee's reward? I was creaming. It was so good. It was so good. Like I was dead. Like it was, oh my gosh. I remember just being like, I like had to stop eating. Like I was like, and then, yeah, it, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I just said creaming. <laughs> it's your, this is your exit interview. <laughs> Don't censor me. <laughs> we won't censor you. <laughs> um, were you pushing in any particular direction uh, for the merge vote? We saw that uh, you ultimately uh voted for uh marianne correct mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 yeah. i um I, honestly like i heard i heard jonathan's name i heard marianne's name like i really didn't pioneer anybody like i heard those names already that's why i like said to omer i was just like i'm down to do jonathan just because like that's who i had been hearing and everything so um i but and i think i remember we we, we decided to split, I guess, with the people that I thought I was working with. I don't know. But um, I remember, what did, yeah. No, I, I really, I literally was just like, I want to just go with the majority, obviously. Like, I'm not trying to pull anything right now. <laughs> like, I'm not. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm trying to at least get to the jury. And obviously, we saw how that turned out. <laughs> we saw how that turned out. Um, the uh, Survivor 41 cast was very vocal about how mm -hmm. uh, they really did not like the hourglass twist. Was it as yeah. big of a deal uh, for your cast uh, during the season? Um. I think it, people were definitely frustrated, but also like people kind of predicted it. So I feel like that already kind of like, I was, but I was in denial though. Like I really felt like I, I was just like, no, 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 like we got immunity, but people like were predicting it. They were like, no, I bet Rock's is going to be able to flip it and everything. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, but I, I, I was like, no, like, it, like in my head, I was like, and that's why you see me like come to the challenge, like wearing my glasses. Like I'm in my full like camp outfit. Like I'm not in my challenge outfit because I was like, I don't want to compete because we won already. Like, why do we have to compete again? You know? So it was like, people, I think were definitely just like, this is the twist and everything. But like in hindsight, I probably should have been more upset. But was anybody whatever. annoyed with Roxroy, particularly after he smashed the hourglass and flipped it? No. Well, I mean, not from what I remember, because also like I was confused too. Like I thought they he automatically had immunity. So that so I thought it was more of an equal like decision, but it wasn't. So I was just like, mm -hmm. wait, like why did we do this then? Like, you know, like why was this like a whole thing when it's like like I think if he automatically had immunity you know, um, I think it would have been a different conversation, but it obviously wasn't. So it's like, yeah, there's no point. There's no point to not smash it because obviously mm -hmm. you want to save yourself in the game. So like, I don't think anybody really held any 
I mean, maybe Tori, I guess, from what I saw last night. Yeah. But like in general, nobody was upset with him because it was like, yeah, everyone would have done the same thing. You had uh, kind of an awkward conversation with Chanel also in the episode last night. Uh, yes. Was there any sort of an idea of like, okay, we should probably try to keep Chanel uh, closer to us or that it was like, okay, uh, the body three basically said, okay, as soon as we get to the merge, we're getting rid of her. Um, repeat the question. What was it? Did you question? want to, uh, were you actively thinking a little bit prior to the merge of like, okay, we'll keep Chanel as a number or was the plan always to get rid of her when it you got was- to the merge? It was already, it was pretty set in stone. It was more like, she was just shifty. Like we just like, there was really never like, we just like never really fully trusted her again. Like it, it, like, and obviously like who we didn't know, we really thought like she totally could have flipped and everything. So we were just kind of like, yeah, she was, she was pretty dead on arrival, unfortunately. One of the questions Stephen Fishback wanted me to ask you was that could you hear the the group cheering after you were voted out? Yes, it was brutal. Yes, and you knew why <laughs> they were cheering. Sad. Yes, yes, I was just like another dagger, dagger, mm-hmm. dagger, dagger, all in my back. <laughs> Now, you've gotten so much love uh, in the Survivor Twitter community. Uh, what, yeah. What's that been like to just uh, have uh, this very, uh, you know, uh, great, but also very weird outpouring uh, from <laughs> the Survivor community? No, it's been so lovely. I've had so much fun. Like, these bitches are hilarious. Like, they're so funny. Like, I've had so much fun just, like, interacting with them. And I'm just, like, so glad they, like, embraced me in my entirety. Like, I literally can't complain. They've been – and I love all their BFJAs. Like, it's tr- – it, I accidentally started a movement. And honestly, I'm very thankful for it. <laughs> Omer had tweeted last night that does – is he uh, the BFJA uh, now? Does it have to be an active player in the game or <laughs> – Should it still be you? You know, I feel like I still should hold the title, but I think as now that I'm out of the game, I feel like it has been shifted. It is over to him. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it like in R42, it will, it will, (laughs) it'll shift around, but I will forever hold the official title because because I I created it. Yes. You created it. I believe you also said in, in survivor history, not just like of all the active players in the game. No, in history. Yeah, yes, history. history. Not even just American Survivor. Every Survivor. Every Survivor. Even a while. Yeah, I didn't even think about every the International Survivor. No, like, survivor. It, like history. Like history. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's, I mean, I can't, like, you see it. You see Incredible. it on the show. It literally just, it's, it just jumps out. Like, what are you supposed to do? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I just, I just said, finally, what everyone was already thinking. Yeah. So, that is what it is. Is there anything else that you want to let the listeners know? Um... I think I should campaign for Dancing with the Stars now Mm -hmm. um, because I feel like that would be a great place to have a BFJA. Yeah. Um, And I'm so thankful and happy for this experience. Like, and I've, the fans and love have been so much fun. I love my chlamydianators. Uh, It's been such a blast. (laughs) Um, I'm so glad that my tweets are now getting attention and I hope everyone follows along for the shit show that will be forever. So. Yes. And you will continue to live tweet Survivor? <laughs> um, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. All right. Maybe. Probably. Okay. All right. Well, Lydia, uh, thank you so much for joining me. This was uh, <laughs> very, very fun. And uh, yeah, awesome. please keep in touch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.